This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Something that I think is really crazy is that we as humans have just come so far. Like from cavemen all the way until now, we've changed a ton, but at the same time, we still share some body language cues with monkeys. It's been thousands and thousands of years and we still wave to say hey. And that's something that primates do as well. And it doesn't matter what language you speak, you can go to the other side of the planet and nodding will still mean yes and shaking your head will still mean no. Everywhere. The point I'm getting at is that body language isn't ever gonna go anywhere. And so if you have strong feelings towards someone, either in a negative or a positive light, that will show through by your mannerisms. Like if you really hate someone who's around, you might be able to hide it from them, but anyone who knows you will know. And on the other end of that, if you're super into someone, there's usually ways of telling. And even if they don't know the signs to look out for, a good friend at least would know right away. So today what I wanna do is deconstruct what a lot of guys do uh, body language wise to show that they're into someone. So that the next time you have any sort of interaction with a dude, you can walk away being like, oh yeah, he was into me. But before I jump into how transparent guys are, right now you are the transparent one if you are not using a VPN like NordVPN to protect yourself. On the internet, it can be almost impossible to tell whether or not someone's monitoring what you do online. Not to mention, your service providers can be throttling certain sites and hackers can be getting at your personal information. But by using a service like NordVPN, you can be protected from all of that by the best VPN in the business. With over 4,000 servers in 62 countries, military-grade encryption, and 24-hour customer support, NordVPN is by far the best option for keeping yourself and your private information secure. So there's really no reason not to just try it out and see for yourself how useful this service is. I personally use it the most uh, for streaming sites. If I ever go on vacation and I'm out of the country and I can't access stuff that I pay for, all I have to do is turn on NordVPN and it thinks I'm back in Canada and I can continue watching all my favorite content. Anyway, that aside, let's get right into it. Here are five physical signs that a guy likes you. Number one, when he first sees you, and this might not be the easiest thing to notice, but his jaw will literally drop. Not in a really exaggerated way like you'd see in a cartoon, more just like his lips would part. But it's literally that movie moment where he's like, holy crap, this girl is gorgeous. And guys actually do this. They might not even know that they do this. There's a reason that this thing is used in movies because it's something that almost all guys do and don't even know. It's crazy, right? I'm not a scientist, although, you know, many people think otherwise, so smart. But if I had to assume uh, why this happens, it's literally just shock being like, oh, I didn't expect to see someone really attractive here. It's kind of just like a knee-jerk reaction to, I don't know, not look dumb. Number two, when guys do anything to fix their appearance. This could be running his hand through his hair, maybe adjusting his tie, you know, sitting up a little straighter, whatever. If it's not obvious enough, guys will do this because he probably wasn't expecting to be near a girl that's pretty or attractive and this is just a little casual way to try and fix his appearance. Realistically, it's probably not gonna change how he looks at all, but it's basically just a nice sign for you to see that he's nervous. Aww. Number three, he'll fidget with something or he'll touch his face in some way. This is really just a nervous tick. Guys will do it because they want to look cool and don't know what to do with their hands. It could be playing with like a button on their sleeve or a zipper. It could be rubbing the top of their head, cracking their knuckles. Something that I find I do more than I should is usually I'll play with my phone. I won't even actually look at it, but I'll just be moving it around in my hand or on the table. And for the record, we know this doesn't look cool. But from our perspective, it's better to just choose something and do it than to... <sighs> yep. Number four. <sighs> He'll stutter. I hate when this happens because it is just the biggest giveaway ever. But if a dude is excited or nervous around you, he will just fail at talking like me. I will just trip over my words and say a sentence full of gibberish. It's it's really bad. And I know that a lot of girls, if this happens to them, will just be like, oh, he was probably just really excited. It probably happens, you know, to him a lot. He's just one of those guys who stutters. No. Trust me, if this happens around you, it is way more likely that it's because he finds you attractive. Just take it from me, I stutter way more talking to a girl that I like than just my friends. So, I'm just saying, don't be so quick to deny it, because it's a sign. Number five, in conversation, 
he's gonna try and get a little closer to you. This one's really funny to me because if you're watching a guy who's interested in someone, you can just watch it happen and it is the most obvious thing in the world. Like I will leave my friend because he's talking to a girl and I'll come back in five minutes and just see they slowly, you know, it inched his way over just a little bit. Maybe he'll have like the arm on the back of her chair. That's just where it's more comfortable. That's not why you did that. And and there are a couple different ways that this point goes. Like, you know, if you're standing, uh, usually he'll be facing you directly. Even like his feet will be pointed at you. That's a really good sign. And if you're sitting across from each other, it'll probably be like on the very edge of his seat. You know, maybe even like leaning in just to be a little closer to talk. And of course, if you're sitting next to each other and he thinks that the conversation is going well, he'll probably take a tip from sign number six. Six is that he will try to have some casual touch happen. Because from a guy's perspective, any sort of touch with someone that you're attracted to is a good way of seeing whether or not stuff is going well. So in the example we were talking about in the last point, where the guy's sitting next to you, he might try and put his arm around your seat. And you know, he'll play it off like, that's just, that's just where it's comfortable. All right, I always do this. It could be my guy friends and I would do this too. Yeah, he, he probably wouldn't do that. That's him trying to very casually see if you're gonna sh you know, shy away, or if you're gonna be like, yeah, this is cool, great. Because that's how you tell him with body language that you like him. And there are a lot of other examples of like a light touch that he might try and go for, so I'm just gonna try and name as many as I can think of. So one that I've found myself doing a lot is if you're talking to somebody and you know maybe you're telling a story or you know trying to get a point across. If I'm talking about something crazy that happened or something unbelievable or something really funny, sometimes what I might do is I'll like grab her hands and be like, no, it actually happened. And I don't know if that's explained well, but it can be really casual. And it can also be sort of like a like a directional thing. Like you meet someone and you're talking and you're in like a really crowded place and so you're like, hey, wanna go over there and just like lightly touch their back, you know, just to kind of motion in the direction you wanna go. Again, it's a super subtle thing, but you know, no homies getting this treatment. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And I just want to thank NordVPN for being this week's sponsor as it really is a great service. Ever since net neutrality ended, you are at risk of having your service throttled because you're using a site that maybe your service provider doesn't like. And I just think that that's so messed up. And with NordVPN, you'll get the same speeds everywhere and be protected from anyone trying to access your info. Again, I put the link in the description as well as my coupon code and so I really I highly recommend you guys go try it out. Anyways, tell me in the comments below something that you've noticed you'll do physically when you're around someone that you like. I wanna hear that down below. Last week I asked what's something that other people have done to make you jealous, and so on screen right now are my favorite answers from that video. And just remember, if you wanna be featured at the end of next week's video, make sure you leave that comment down below right now, and maybe I'll feature you. I wanna give a huge Instagram shout out to Kimberly for commenting on a recent picture. Having fun with friends and getting away with them is the awesome thing you will ever do. Couldn't put it better myself. Also, shout out to Amanda, because she's a new follower, and sometimes my bar for giving shout outs is a little lower than other times, so. And lastly, Brianna, who, just as a side note, apparently is just a sick artist, uh, but in addition to that, liked basically every photo of mine, so you're dope, and you definitely deserve this. So make sure you go follow those three, and if you want a little Instagram shout out at the end of my next video, make sure you're following me and just engaging with my Instagram, you know, liking photos, leaving comments, stuff like that. My Instagram is Andrew Quo. There'll be a link in the description. And uh, yeah, go follow me and maybe I'll shout you out next week. Finally, subscribe to me for more videos. Click over here if you want more advice. And with all that being said, I'll see you next week. Peace.